Okay, my friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to check a thermistor. Now, it doesn't make a difference if it's a blue thermistor with blue wires or the white ones. They're both the same, resistance-wise. So, I'm taking this particular thermistor out because we just got this refrigerator in. And we're going to clean it up. So here's the thermistor. Now, you can check these thermistors at room temperature. And they should be in the area of 8 to 20,000. So we're going to check the resistance at room temperature. Twelve thousand forty-three, give or take forty-two. So it's twelve thousand ohms. Now we said the range was between eight and twenty. So just to verify, I mean it's kind of on the low range, but it's within the uh, specified resistance. So now we're going to check it. We're going to put the thermistor in cup of water, glass of water, and 32 degree water, because we have glass ice cubes here, and we're going to put this in here, like so. And then we're going to measure the temperature. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the adapter for the temperature setting. We're going to put this on temperature and we're going to choose well, it's on Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's see what happens with this. It's 33.622. They said 32 degrees. That's close enough, but I'm just going to see if it goes down any any further. So at 32 degrees we need to have between 30 and 33,000 ohms. And that's going to tell us whether or not this resistor is good. Okay, that's about as cold as I can get it. It won't go down to 32. Well, of course we know ice is at 32, but the temperature inside the shop affecting the cubes, melting it, the heat's absorbing the heat. So I'm just, it's off by a couple of degrees, but let's um, turn off the th thermometer or the temperature gauge and get into the resistance and find out what we got. Thirty-one thousand forty-two. So that's within range between 30 and 33,000 so this resistor a mist thermistor is good and what we're going to do now is put it back because that's how you check a thermistor if you don't want to change it but you want to make sure it's if you're having other problems you should always check the thermistors and um, you'll be better at diagnosing things if you know what the resistance is Okay, so we can eliminate the fact that this thermistor is okay. Thanks for watching.